All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, I saw this on a feed. I was watching a few videos and roughly came up with this uh, dealing with the uh, shooting that happened yesterday with uh, Jake being killed by that Edomite officer. You know, where the officer put his knee on his neck and suffocated him and killed him purposely. Now, this is on Rupley. Now, I was watching this and I noticed while they were speaking, this is only like a two minute clip, almost three minutes. And this part came up. So I seen, I'm looking in the back and I see these two guys standing there with you know, the fringes on their shirts. So I'm saying, you know, these Israelites are here. What are you doing there? You know, if you know that you're a Hebrew Israelite, all right, and you woken up to this truth, if you know the scriptures, why are you there? Why are you there to support, you know, for black people? All right, now, if you don't understand this truth, then you're probably going to be mad at what I said. All right. Let me tell you, you know, you so-called blacks, so-called Negroes. All right. You so-called West Indians, Haitians, so-called Latinos, Native Seminole Indians. You're not black. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not an Indian. OK, you're not a Mexican. You're not a West Indian. You're an Israelite. And for those who woken up to this truth. All right. And that claim they believe in the most high. All right, which is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, even though these different camps use different names and they carry this different doctrine. But if you knew the scriptures, you know, you should not even be out there. All right, because as soon as I seen this, you know, yesterday when the shit was going down and it was catching viral all over the social media world, you know, the scripture that came in mind was the Lord belong the issue of death. Okay, you know what I'm saying? This ain't our fight, you know, but, you know, Jake love to, love to be a part of something, you know, and not really fully taking on the scriptures and manning themselves in that way. You know, why are you there? Now, this guy here, he has an African shirt on. I don't know if he has fringes or he's just, I don't know what's going on. All I know, this is a quick, uh, quick clip. And this guy with the African shirt on, he's speaking, but he's not speaking like an Israelite. All right. So I don't know if he know or he claims or he believes or whatever, but he's just speaking as a man, you know, for all the injustice that is going on. But then you got these guys that seem like they hold in posts, you know, the way that the cameras angle is like they hold in posts. I don't know if they all together, but you can clearly see that these guys with the white shirt on with the fringes. And I believe he got border blue down there. You know, the Israelites. Like, what are you there for? <laughs> what are you there for? All right. That's not our fight, man. The Most High is going to stir these things up. All right. So that prophecy could take its course. That ain't our fight. All right. Now, a quick scripture that came to mind. Like I said, when I saw this yesterday was Psalm 68 and 20. It says, he that is our God, which is Yahweh. Is the God, which is mean, you know, God also goes into our law of power. So it says he that is our power is the is the most high of salvation. Let me read that again. He that is our God is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh, the Lord belong the issue from death. All right. So anytime someone dies. The Heavenly Father sanctioned it. He ordains it. He caused that man's spirit to come back. And what happened yesterday with the Edomite, you know, killing Jake the way he did, the Most High ordered that. All right. Esau is being exposed. These Edomites, they showing their true colors that they hate. All right. You so-called blacks and Latinos, you know. And um, you woken up to this truth, you should understand that that's not our fight. It's nothing we can do, all right, to go out there to help black people. To help, you want to help black people, 
right? Teach the truth. And, and really, you know, Romans 11 and 7, scriptures say, What then? Israel have not obtained what you seek it for, but the rest, uh, let me get it. You know, because two thirds of our people are not going to wake up, so it's a waste of time. So just prophesize, you know, pray that the Lord wake up the elect. You know, what the hell are you doing out there? Don't even make sense, man. Romans 11 and 7, it says, um, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Who are the rest? The rest of Israel. Because this truth is only for the elect. All right? And it's clearly, you know, various scriptures and the scriptures, you know, you can make a topic out of it about the elect and how it says the elect or election. All right? So what are, the, what are you doing out there? You know, what, what you, you know, <laughs> different camps, man. Dudes is bugged out. It says Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. What they seek for? The truth. All right. It says, but the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the most high have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. OK, so the Lord gave them the spirit of slumber. You know, they're not going to get it. This is judgment, man. All this is is judgment. All right. That was judgment upon that man for whatever wickedness he's done. OK. For committing sins, and I'm pretty sure he wasn't, you know, believing in the Most High, believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So that's judgment. All right, Esau is doing what he got to do, you know, and that's this is nothing compared to what's coming. Did y'all forget about the force of the vaccines, force of the chip coming in your homes? What you gonna do then? You know, you know, and I can see this shit dying down, you know, or being a distraction. But the point of this video is, you know, why are you guys, you know, you Hebrew, you supposed to know these scriptures. Why are you there? Doesn't it make sense to me? You know, unless you set up. All right. You know, on the left hand side, it says verse nine. And David say, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. So even David said, let this truth be a stumbling block unto them. Let it be what? A trap, a snare. You no, know, he said, let their table be made a snare, okay, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. So let their sins, all right, destroy them, man. Meaning that what? Let it let let their sins, let the payback, all right, of the Lord's vengeance come upon them. You know, so you know, the Lord told uh Jeremiah not to pray for them. You know, so black people are not gonna wake up, man. You know, going out there to protest with them for this, it's nonsense, man. You're supposed to be holding posts and teaching the scriptures. Now, I got one more scripture, and I'm going to um, leave it at that. This is Job 4 and uh, verse 7. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Now, that guy that died, I'm pretty sure he's not innocent, man. All right? He probably, and I don't know him, but I'm guessing because the way that he died, in the way that the Lord allowed it to go down, you know, you know that he wasn't believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. I'm pretty sure he probably was eating crab, shrimp, lobster, and pork. He probably believed in Jesus Christ. All right. Typical Jake. All right. The scriptures say, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity. And so wickedness reap the same. All right. So this was judgment, man. You know, you got no business being out there in support for black people. All right. The most High is going to kill black people. And that's just the truth. All right. And if, you know, you come, you wake up. Let me say this. The Lord not dealing with black people. He dealing with Israelites. All right. He dealing with his people who have woken up to this truth. All right. So. You know, you know, I'm gonna leave it at that. That was on my mind. I'm just watching this video. I'm gonna play it a little bit. That's he didn't have no man.
medical issue. He didn't, there was nothing wrong with the man when he came and walked into Cub Food. The only thing they was able to do is try to claim he got medical issues. If your knee in my neck for more than 10 minutes, I'm going to have medical issues too, and I'm going to die just like he did. That's a lie. And look at it, you got Esau out there with Black Lives Matter signs. Like they really care about you, Jakes. They just don't want to see their city tore up. You know, they don't want their world to end, but it's coming to an end. All right, we're in a new world right now. All right, a new society according to the new orders. All right, which is coming, which is, uh, you know, coming from these elites, the Rothschilds. said it looked like you know they holding posts he they speaker you know and they just holding posts with this guy you know you israelite camps need to wake up man read the scriptures man and 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 um you know walk in the ways of the scriptures man this is crazy and that's what we want because guess what george has never have his life back again that's right. there's no this man can serve 15 years in prison and still get out and still better continue life it's gonna you know, he not. I don't know if he with them or not, or how they set up, because the camera's only pointed in this direction. But he should be bringing out the scriptures if he gonna do that. You know. Be hard, but he still can breathe. He can still talk to his family. George can't. So some change needs to happen. You know, and that's just basically the point, man. You know, we ain't got nothing to do with that shit, man. Cause sooner or later they gonna tie it right to you. Ain't got nothing to do with that shit, man. The next motive would be, you know, the vendetta. The Hebrew Israelites came out and killed the cops or something, whatever. Ain't got no business with that shit, man. You know, the most high belongs, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh belongs the issue of death. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.